everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Okay, so how many of you guys are like me and somehow develop in your refrigerator drawer a collection of cheeses? Like, I look in my drawer and I have a ginormous collection <laughs> Of cheese and this does not even scratch the surface doesn't even scratch the surface of what I have in my refrigerator I don't know why but that's just something I tend to accidentally hoard in my refrigerator it's not intentional it's just oh I'll grab a thing of cheese I always need shredded cheese or I always need a block of cheese or da 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 so we're gonna do something with at least a small portion of the cheese that we have. We're going to make a quick crock pot chicken queso dip for um, our celebration tonight. If you haven't watched my previous videos, the last few I've done, it's our son-in-law's birthday celebration and I'm breaking up everything I'm fixing for his meal into individual videos. And this is one of them. So we're going to um, make just, we're just going to kind of throw stuff in the crock pot and make a delicious queso dip for um, the party tonight. It's not really a party. It's just like a family dinner. But the first thing I've got is canned chicken. Now you could start this in the crock pot with fresh chicken breast if you want. I didn't think ahead in time, so we're going to use canned. I need to drain this. Also, I have a can of chilies and a can of tomatoes. What can you use if you, instead, Rotel. I don't think I have Rotel, so I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna drain this and drain this and mix them together. I also have a jalapeno in the refrigerator. We can chop up if I see we need a little bit more kick. But I have a partial thing of pepper jack. I have a whole Colby cheese. I mean, Colby. It's not Colby. It's Cabot. Cabot, um, extra sharp cheese. We have some mild cheddar cheese. I have some Velveeta, which we use. And I have a block of this. Now I'm using most of this on another dish. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this if I need it. Um, but we're going to see. I also have some taco seasoning to go in there and some cream cheese. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to draining the cans of things I need, and then we'll come back and start cubing up some cheeses, and hopefully they'll all go together well. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so I'll meet you back here in just a second, and we will get started on this queso. All right, everybody, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the chicken going in here because I want to take a fork and break it up a little bit because sometimes there's big chunks and we want chicken in every bite. So I'm gonna take a fork real quick. And just break it up a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to make it too terribly fine, but I don't want really huge chunks either. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to just kind of cut up our cheeses. I have a little bit of the sharp white cheddar. Um, I didn't use that big block. I'm just basically cutting it up into smaller pieces and um, kind of getting it a head start. I have a fairly good sized chunk of our Velveeta and we may be adding more cheese before this is over with. We'll see. We're going to turn this on high, but we're going to stir it quite often. because we don't want it to scorch. 
And then I have a really good size piece of pepper jack. I think that'll add a little spice and a little kick to it. And maybe we won't need the jalapeno. This is gonna be such a fun meal. Um, Jamie did not request anything super special for, the only thing he requested was his cranberry oatmeal cookies. And I have already made those. So his supper, we're gonna do just fun food. We're gonna have slider sandwiches. We're gonna have kind of a ranchy bacon French fry thing, except we're doing it with a twist. We're just getting this in here. This is kind of just a dump and go. All right, and the I want to put about a half a block of cream cheese. We may go in with more or we may add sour cream. I'm not sure. I'm just going to put that in as one big because it's softened. I had it sitting out a while, so it's softened. All right, so now to that, we're going to add in. Let's add in a little bit more cheese. We're gonna add in some of this pre-shredded, just because I gotta get rid of it. Our refrigerator is overflowing with cheeses. Overflowing with cheeses. All right, so now to that, we're gonna add, I'm gonna, I've drained it as well. Looks like I need to drain it. We're going to add some diced tomatoes and we're going to add our chilies and I'm adding the whole thing. Hopefully it won't be too hot. And then to that we're going to add two tablespoons of taco seasoning. I hope this will be good. We shall see. But I mean it's cheese, mostly cheese. How can it not be? All right, so I'm gonna stop here. We may add more in just a little bit, but we're gonna get it going in the crock pot on high, but I'm gonna be stirring it every few minutes because I don't want anything to burn or scorch. So um, come back and we will stir in just a minute. Let's go check the queso dip and give it a stir. Oh. It's getting hot. That's what you want to avoid right there is the sticking around the side. I believe I'm actually going to turn it down. Now we can definitely add in some jalapeno. I think I'm going to turn it down on low. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, it's on low. I'll probably add a scoop of sour cream and maybe some jalapenos to it. Real quick before I tell you what we thought of the queso dip, I'm gonna show you something that I ordered from Amazon. I'm, I'm in love. Oh my goodness, guys, you have got to see this outfit. I just ordered from Amazon. It came in today. It is a set. It's a top and pants. And oh my goodness, I'm going to put it up right here somewhere. Just, I'm going to show it to you. It, the pants are like, they're like sweater material. It's, the pants are like a sweater material. They're kind of uh, darted at the bottom so they, they taper in. Um, the sweater has this cute little pocket, which you'll see. I'll show you over here. Just wait till I come back and tell you what I paid for it. So those of you who know how Amazon works, how about filling me in? Cause I went back and checked and saw what I paid for it. And it's what I thought I paid for. In fact, that's why I ordered it is because of the price that came up. In fact, when I saw the price, I was thinking, 
Uh, this may be kind of cheesy, cheap, not good quality. Y'all, this is top quality stuff. The pants are amazing. I mean, this is absolute, and I think it's so classy looking. It's beautiful. But, um, so when I saw what I paid for, I thought, well, that even if it's cheap and cheesy, I can wear it around the house. And, um, so when it came in and I saw the quality, I was like, so I went and looked and I saw that I paid what I thought I paid, but then I went to it to see, and the price is way more now than what it was when I paid for it. So y'all tell me, does Amazon put something on sale once in a while? I mean, like, we're talking a less than half price sale, like huge sale. Um, but anyway, what I paid for this, let me tell you what it's at now. When you look it up right now, it is $48.99. $48.99. This is a size small. The whole set is a size small. Uh, it's two pieces, but it was sold as a set, and I got size small. It was uh, $48.99. That's what it is currently. But when I saw it and I hit the buy now button, it was $14.70. Tell me what happened. Like, I don't, I, I, I know how to shop on Amazon, but I don't understand how the Amazon Prime days work. I don't, I don't get into that kind of side of Amazon. So y'all tell me, how did I get such a good deal on this? $14.70 for a $50 item. And it's two items. It's, it's two. Like, I almost feel I need to call them and say, hey, did y'all make a mistake? But anyway, I'm in love. I love it. Hey, I will link this down in my Amazon storefront. Right now it's running $48.99, but maybe occasionally they'll run that $14.70 deal again. But wow, do I love this. I love it. So now back to thoughts on my queso dip. Well, everyone, we had a glorious time at Jamie's birthday party. Uh, it was not really a party. It's Jamie's birthday family dinner. I don't know why I keep calling it a party, but it was just a family dinner where we celebrated Jamie. Um, we had slider sandwiches. We had like a, a cheesy tater tot dish. We had banana pudding. We had, um, what else? Oh, we had his cookies. We had all kinds of things. But, um, on this video, we made the queso dip. Now, we did not do a taste test. It We were just enjoying family, and I did not get the camera out. I did not film the chaos of the little boys running around. Um, it was just a wonderful evening. But let me tell you, the queso dip, the refrigerator clean-out queso dip, <laughs> was um, delicious. Out of everything we had, it was probably my favorite thing we had the whole night. It was so good. And the chicken added to it just... Now, you can make it without the chicken, but that just gave it a little substance, a little something special. It was so good. So, I, it's hard for me to give you measurements in a recipe. So, I would say I used 20 to 24 ounces of multiple kinds of cheeses, uh, two cans of chicken, uh, a drained can of diced tomatoes, a drained can of chilies, and some t and two tablespoons of taco seasoning, and cream cheese. Uh, about a half a block or a little bit more than half a block of cream cheese. Now you could add sour cream to it. It would be delicious. So, I know you guys can't hear it. But uh, we live next door to the zoo. And the lion is doing some roaring. <laughs> I know my camera won't pick it up. But um, he's actually doing quite a bit of talking this morning. I've already heard him once already. And now he's going again. So he is doing some talking and some roaring. It's um, they, they roar a couple of times. And then they have almost this deep 
bark. It's, you know, they do that big roar, the big roar, and then a, oh, 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 oh. And um, so it's, we hear him multiple times a day. And it's really kind of cool. Not many people can say they can sit in their house and listen to lions roar. <laughs> so um, every now and then we hear the chimpanzees and the elephants. Um, but what we hear the most is the lion. We have a new lion, I believe, and I'm not sure of his name. But um, not we. Not, I don't have a lion. <laughs> the North Carolina Zoo. But um, anyway... So, let me just tell you, it was delicious. Uh, Brian, we still have some left, and Bryant comes by, and he's, like, dipping out of it all the time. And it is really, really good. So, do you a refrigerator clean out, or, if you don't want to do that, just go buy you a couple blocks of cheese, chop it up. Oh, and I did use some Velveeta cheese, too. I used a big hunk of Velveeta cheese. So, uh, pepper, I used sharp, uh, sharp cheddar, cheddar pepper jack Velveeta cream cheese and so I just did a refrigerator clean out really that's what I did so all right guys I'm gonna let you go it was delicious you've got to try it if you don't have the cheese in your refrigerator like I do oh my goodness that was embarrassing like and, and what I used for that it hadn't even made a dent in my cheese collection <laughs> and I don't mean to collect it it's like I'm at the store I'm like oh I think I need cheese and I just buy more cheese. So, if you don't have the cheese hoarded in your refrigerator like I do, then go buy you some and make this. It is so good. All right, guys. I will see you next time on the farm. And Pastor's Wife, thank you so much for joining us. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.